Good morning, one and all. Today we are going to see the call by value and call by reference in Python. How it is going to execute the program? We will see with example. Before going to the call by value and call by reference, we will see how the ID will work. That is the identity operators. Suppose if I am going to take a string a is equal to, for example, let's take CSC. B is equal to CSC. B is equal to CSC. Here, A and B strings are same. Now I am going to print that. Print of A is B. This is the identity operator. E is the identity operator. Print of A is B. We have to check it. If you execute this, it is going to show the true. If I am going to take a list a is equal to 1, 2, 3 B is equal to the same content I am going to take what I have uh, taken for the B same values then I am going to write print of A is B so here it is a false. Why it is? So in data, multi-value data type string is we can't able to modify whatever uh, we have going to give at the starting. So it remains same. So if you want, so if you coming to the list, so here a is equal to one two three is there, b is equal to one two three is there. Meanwhile, we can able to modify these values by using the slicing. So that's why. The memory, the system is going to allocate the memory for A is a different address, for B is also different address. Because of whenever you want to change the value, if it is going to allocate the same memory, so A and B are going to affect it. So I want to change only B. So the B itself has to be affected. So in that case, the system is going to allocate the two different memory addresses for both. Okay, so this is for your understanding why it is showing the false and why it is showing the true. So in string already I said that whatever you are giving that the starting it we can't be able to modify it. Okay, now we go for the call by value. So I will take a one a simple example. So in function that already we know that so actual arguments or comes under the calling function formal arguments comes under the function definition the calling function whatever arguments are there it simply copy those arguments values into the formal arguments so that already we know so here let's see one example def so the function is always should start by the def so i am going to write here uh, my function is uh, some for example my function name is CSC, here I am going to take the A. Then it is ended by the colon, that is indentation. So I am going to take a one list, 1, comma 2, comma 3, print A. Print A, in order to understand, I am going to give what is the memory address of this A. So print of ID of A, print of ID of A. Then I am going to write the calling function. So here we are uh, b is equal to some I am going to write uh, 1 comma 6 comma some 9 for example. Um, uh, so I am going to call the function with the uh, function definition function name a b Then I am going to write a print of B in order to understand here also I am going to give the print B after entering that what is the value of that B and at last I am going to write print of ID of B ID of B so here the program is the function name is CSC the A is equal to I took one list so it contains 1, 2, 3, print A. 
so it is entirely inner function entirely is the entirely inner function okay we will see so what it is going to print the output and what is the memory location for this okay then b is equal to i am going to give one more value that is a b is equal to is a one more list so your values are 169 the print b so i am going to print the same what i have given here then i am going to call the function with the name of the function definition what i have given here the same we should give that already we know so b so i am going to pass these b actual argument here is the b here the formal argument is a I am going to pass these values to A. That means it is going to copy the values from B and then send to the A. Then after that, this is the outer function printer. So what value it is going to print, we will check it. So here see, the C is going to pass the C, sorry, the outer function that is the calling function is going to pass the arguments to a function definition so what value we have here a at a we have 169 at a we have 169 now enter into this a is equal to 123 is there now these values 169 is replaced by 123 so the print a it is going to print 1231 so here in order to understand i am going to write the one request message inner function inner function value for understanding so here it is the outer function value outer function value here I am going to write Inner function address memory address memory address your uh, outer function memory address So I am going to execute it now. So see, here I am going to print it. So it is going to take the as is value is 169. Inner function value. So what here the calling function is going to set. For B it is going to take 169 and send to A. Now the at this point A contains 169 only. But when you enter into the inner function, the A is equal to 123. That 123 is replaced by 169. So hence the inner function value is it remains same 1231 the address of this is 25344 it is going to allocate different memory location for inner function now we coming to the outer function it outer function it is going to print 169 only. 169 so the memory address for this b is a different b is different here uh, we have to note that the one more is if you are going to give that a is also the same argument name what we have given at the function definition which is going to allocate the different memory locations only that also we should keep it in our mind see so here uh, this memory location is different this memory location is different what it is going to consider outer function value is a that is 169 only so this is call by value this one is the call by value next in next section we will see the call by reference